documenting my therapy journey. I just started late June and tomorrow will be my third week going to my therapy session. So I just wanted to kind of take whoever is interested along with me in case, you know, they're trying to reach out for help and they don't know how to go about it. I'm really just trying to help other people while I'm getting help too because I think that's really important. So if you're someone who is lost right now and you don't know how to go about finding a therapist, what I did was I researched therapists in my area and specifically ones that took my insurance. Luckily for me, my therapy sessions are fully covered with my insurance, so that's a really big help. Um, hopefully you have insurance and it's just good to look for the ones that take your insurance specifically. So after I researched a therapist who kind of dealt with the things that I think I'm dealing with or that I know that I'm dealing with but like disorders that I may think that I have, I schedule an appointment but I have to fill out a bunch of paperwork before then and drop it off at the office. Then they emailed me a date to start my sessions and that's pretty much how it started really. I just researched therapists in my area specifically look for the ones that had my insurance, filled out paperwork, printed it out, and gave it to the office, and that's how it started. When you sit down with a therapist, it's not going to be the same for every person. You may not like your therapist and have to switch to somebody else. Luckily for me, I really like my therapist. She's really calming, very understanding. Um, she's not judgmental, which they never should be, so I got pretty lucky with that. So how the first session with me went was just a bunch of questions about my past, how I'm feeling, things like that, and like one question led to a long story and it really took up a lot of time. My sessions are an hour long, so it goes by really fast when you have a lot to talk about. And with me, I'm an open book. I was really honest and I just have a lot to talk about. And a lot of people can struggle with that, and that's totally fine, it's normal. Um, people can find it hard to do that right away, but I just didn't mind. It's really all about finding a good therapist for you and who you feel really comfortable with because that's going to really help you open up and not feel ashamed to talk about a certain thing. Or It just really helps if you find a therapist that's really right for you. During my second session, I was given this, like, um, paper booklet thing to fill out or just kind of circle, um, answers related to questions about, like, anxiety and things like that, so that's what I'll be turning in tomorrow. These are just some of the questions that I had to answer by circling a percentage. I'm not sure if I'll be getting more homework type assignments, but this was just the first one to kind of answer more questions that my therapist might have. During my last session, while I was kind of explaining to my therapist what was going through my head and just talking, she went over to her little library that she has and lent me this really creative book by Sark, and it's really amazing, especially for women. It's called Succulent Wild Women, and it really just talks about all kinds of situations, like sexuality, friendships, um, depression, anxiety, all kinds of stuff. My therapist said that this book reminded her of what I was telling her about and that I should look through it and stuff, so I did, and there's a lot of pages that I really relate to, and... It's just a really creative, fun book that talks about serious topics. I really do think therapy is helping me even though I just started and I'm going through this journey, I'm already feeling a lot better because I just enjoy letting it all out because I never have before. So every few weeks I think I'll make a video Maybe it'll be short or maybe it'll be longer depending on if I have anything else to talk about, but for now, I just wanted to start this up 
and kind of just explain how I got to this point. And I'm here to tell you that getting help is the strongest thing that you can do for yourself, especially if you're, you know, in a, in a bad mindset. Because I know I was for a very, very long time, for years, and I finally am getting help and I'm really proud of myself and it feels amazing. And please never ever think that you're not sick enough to get help or to be heard because your mental health is just as important as your physical health and it's important to reach out when you feel like you've hit rock bottom or if things are just bothering you. There will always be someone out there that will help you no matter what and it just takes pushing yourself to get there. It may take a while, it may be really hard to open up or let things out, but it'll be worth it. It really will be. Thank you for watching and I will be updating this journey every now and then. I'll be answering questions on Instagram and things like that. So yeah, I hope this inspired someone out there to look into getting help if they need it. Thanks again for joining me and I'll see you in a few weeks.